Well, this looks like a good spot. I'm Mel, KC0P, and I want to show you something about uh, microwave operation. And we've picked a spot here in uh, Country Club Manor uh, Park to show uh, uh, how the operation works and has a very nice view of the horizon. So, this is in the transport position. And uh, the way I go down the road, and we're ready to put it on the tripod for operation. So just pull it off the post. So uh, the next uh, operation would be to hook it on to the battery. Uh, you might be interested in the, in the major components of the uh, microwave setup here. This is for 10 gigahertz, and uh, the major component that's easy to see is the dish antenna. And a dish antenna like this at 10 gigahertz has about uh, 31 dB of gain. So that's a, a lot of gain and makes the aiming quite sharp. So this is the antenna, the feed horn down here, the transverter that converts the 144 megahertz IF frequency up to 10 gigahertz is in there and the linear amplifier and changeover relay are uh, down below. This is the two meter all mode rig that we use for the IF. So it can operate single sideband, CW or it could also do FM. Now, red to plus and black to minus, and don't get it wrong. There's <laughs> minus, so that's black to that one, and there's the plus. So we'll put that on. Okay. The two meter IF comes on. And the transverter is on. CQDX, CQDX. This is Kilo, Charlie, Zero Papa calling. Kilo, Charlie, Zero Papa beaming towards Minneapolis calling CQ and listening. Now I would not expect to hear anybody come back to me because uh, most of this is done by prior arrangement that uh, somebody in St. Paul would be listening for me. So we would have a time set up and uh, know that we were going to do this thing and uh, we'd have a, a much uh, better chance of, of making the thing operate. There's uh, a number of accessories that we need in order to beacon back and forth. I have to have a clock like this so that we can be uh, synchronized on time and uh, typically east is even, west is odd, so we would be each beacon for a minute. We might go for like 10 minutes till we get it uh, lined up between the two stations. So east is even, I would beacon on the even minutes, I would be listening now because it's the odd uh, minute. So that's, you got to have maps in order to be able to figure out what the aiming is. Uh, for instance, I, I did a calculation. If I wanted to work W0GHZ in St. Paul, he's in grid square uh, Echo November 34 Lima X ray. And uh, from here, we're in, set up in Country Club Manor. We're in Echo November 34 Sierra Alpha. That's uh, 72 miles up to Lima X-Ray, and it would be at an azimuth of 337 degrees. So with the compass, I could figure out where 337 degrees is in order to be able to do uh, the correct aiming. So 337. would 
be like this. Now here it's fairly good because we can pick out a, a feature on the horizon and then aim the dish at it. So 337 would be uh, right over the backstop down there. So I can loosen up the, the bearings on my uh, rig. That'd be where I would start. That's 337 degrees right there. We got the key. You understand that uh, real men send CW with a straight key, right? <laughs> to CW, uh, I changed the mode in the IF unit to CW and uh, turn it on to transmit. And uh, if it were the even minute, I would beacon for a minute in Morse code on uh, the beam heading for St. Paul. So that's how we do that. And then, uh, according to the clock, it's uh, even minute now, so east is even, that's me. Let's see if anybody comes back to me. 